Well guys, I've been looking forward to this for a while, so we're gonna do first day in pockets for the Artisan Cutlery Gavco Design Great White. It's fun, stick around. Turn down the volume, here comes a little bit of music. So yeah, guys, this came in. Russell sent me that care package. You saw me unbox it. This is a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know 100% how functional this is. I pulled it out of the box. I messed with it for a little bit. I had it on the live feed that we did on Friday. I carried it a little bit and then put it back. I've carried it all day today. And I'm not gonna lie. It's a lot of fun, but I'm not sure it's the functional knife I would want. I have noticed a couple things about it. So we're not gonna talk about it a lot here. We're gonna turn it around and we're gonna take a look at it from above. Here it is, guys. I've been waiting to see one of these for a while. This is the Gavco Designed Artisan Great White. Now you're gonna notice right off, real unique, handle shape and everything. This is a knife that definitely has the Gavco Mike Gavick DNA. You can definitely see it, but it's lacking a couple things that typically I would see in a Gavco knife. So first of all, the handle is really skinny, so it does feel a little unusual in hand. I'm not gonna say it's uncomfortable. I have gotten used to it after carrying it all day today. That forward finger choil lets you get up into that harpooned area of the blade there. Definitely has a very, very similar blade shape from here back to my uh, Ferrum Forge Gavco Mako, which is currently at uh, Cole's house over at Tri-State EDC. So these are titanium scales. They've been heavily blasted, which gives it a good look. I love this pocket clip. This is possibly one of my favorite artisan pocket clips yet. Uh, it's kind of a mix between a bent clip and a sculpted clip. Um, as far as the handles, the handles are not uncomfortable. I thought they would be seeing how skinny they are, but they kind of just melt right into your hand a little bit. It does have a little bit of that, like it feels like it rolls a little bit, but if I get my thumb up on it, it kind of goes away. Action on this, I have to say, is really good. It is drop shut, snaps open easily, drop shut. Um, but with that, there's a little bit of an issue. As you guys can see, there's no flipper tab on this. I believe that when I watched a while back, uh, I watched Nick Shabazz's video about this. He mentioned the fact, this isn't a non-flipper flipper. It's a finger flicker flipper only. And that's not a horrible thing, but with that, it comes with another small little issue. So when you flick it open and then you go to close it, if you happen to, it does have a little bit of that double detent, but without a flipper tab, it just feels like it's gonna slam shut on your finger because that free action that's on it is just truly drop shut. Um, so as you can see, there's a couple little spots on my thumbnail where it has actually dropped down it. Now, if it didn't have that choil, absolutely would not pose as much of a risk, but without the choil, it doesn't look as cool or feel as cool. So the action on this, like I said, super free, not at all loose. So. Sometimes when I get knives in, I'm, I'm curious about like why they're so loose and free. Sometimes it's a pivot issue. Uh, this is locked down tight. The lock bar access is a little bit hard to get to as I've noticed today. Um, I wish this was a little lower. If this was my knife, I would probably take it out to the grinder and kind of take some of that material out maybe, but then I think that might change the way it feels in hand. So it is a striking knife and I have done a little bit of cutting with it. I will say it came pretty sharp. It was really sharp when it came. I touched the edge up on it earlier today on a ceramic rod. But one of the things that you know about, if you know anything about Gavco knives, Mike's knives are always thin. Like when he would talk to Elliot on the phone, they would talk about knives and they were talking about collaborations. And he was like, teen Elliot, it must be teen to cut with his heavy, heavy accent. and. This does not have that thinness. It feels a little bit thick behind the edge, which puts it out of character for what I would expect from a Gavco knife. Mike's knives are always super thin behind the edge, 
like dangerously thin behind the edge and it makes them cut and slice so well. I don't know if that kind of just missed the mark on this or if it's just the factory edge. I have not gotten around to, to finding out how it cuts real well, just minor little things. Just, you know, I had a couple Amazon packages. I will say it is a very, very attractive knife. And in hand, it does not feel bad. It, I, I, like I said, I thought it would feel bad. Pocket clip is really comfortable so far. So, you know, this is just one of those first day in pockets. I haven't looked up price or anything. I know it's one of the more expensive offerings from Artisan. So we'll see how that pans out. But guys, look at that action. Action on that is great. And it, it has got a nice snap to it. So if nothing else, it's going to be fun to carry. Uh, might wind up being a giveaway. I don't know. Sometimes these unusual ones wind up staying in my collection because I just enjoy them. Uh, meant to mention this. Nice big half backspacer with the company name on it there. I much prefer... I would much prefer they put the company name there than put a bunch of stuff on the blade. Well, I don't care about billboarding on blades. Um... I don't, I don't like that big logo there. And you know, it's not, it's not a logo that a lot of people like. So this one is an S35 VN. There you go. Gavco knives. There you go. Just a quick walk around of it. First day in pockets. Um, didn't script anything. Hadn't looked anything up. We're just kind of off the cuff looking at the things I've noticed about this knife, but boy, that action is so good. So, all right, guys, that's it. Let's turn this around and do some final thoughts. Like I said, guys, the only issue I really have with it is um, I think Nick Shabazz noted the same thing. Without a th flipper tab, that uh, that one little spot here at the plunge is kind of dangerous, and it feels a little thin in the handle. The, the only other thing I have noticed, and I'm going to find out when I carry it for a little bit longer, it feels like it might be a little bit thick behind the edge. Uh, I don't know how hard I'm going to use this because this might wind up being a giveaway, so I haven't decided yet. Um, but yeah, there you go, guys. Just a first day in carry. Uh, first day in pockets. Uh, first day of carry. If you guys like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down. But you got to tell me why I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. I do know that some people say they don't like the green screen, but, you know, it's better than looking at my laundry area and stuff hanging up and just a dark part of my garage. Um, so there's that. Guys, if you want to support the channel, it's as simple as like, share, subscribe, drop a comment. That's the best way to support any channel that pushes up a, us up the algorithm. But if you do want to support the channel financially, there's a handful of ways you can do it. Down in the description, you'll find all of these. The join tab gets you in on a bunch of different benefits. Check the tiers, find out what benefit suits you best. All tiers get $5 off per knife off my sharpening service. And that includes straight razors and more expensive items. Plus, if you're a premium tier member, you get a sharpening tutorial series I've built for you guys. If you guys want to support it other ways, I have affiliate links down below where anything you purchase, I get a portion of it at checkout. It doesn't cost you anything. And the final way is I do have a merchandise store on Ember Shirt Co. I've set up an, a uh, coupon code for you guys on Ember Shirt Co. And that coupon code is Crazy Sharp, capital C, capital S, Crazy Sharp, all one word. Saves you 10% at checkout anywhere on Ember Shirt Co. And if you send me pictures of you wearing my merchandise, I will put them in the videos. Guys, that's it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday, and I will see you in the next video.